Hey folks, welcome to day five of making a comic. For those of you who don't know, I'm Chris and this is a web series on making my new comic, formerly titled as Space. So I wanted to go back in time a bit and what I probably should have done from the very beginning was go back to the original concept that I had written down in my sketchbook for the comic book that I'm working on now. Instead, I just went with everything that I had in my mind from memory, uh, just working from there and developing the story from that, thinking I you know, remembered quite solidly what it was all about. Now, if we go back to, I don't even know, this would have been probably August, September last year, I had a dream, an extremely vivid dream, about myself crashing in space on a random planet and walking onto this unknown world and meeting people who are just extremely weird and creepy and just overall very odd uh, and had a, a very intense ending. And that's where the story sort of developed. And I remember waking up and this was just lodged in my head. And I thought, okay, I've got to write this down. So I did. I pulled out my sketchbook. I generally keep a sketchbook beside me uh, in my side table. And this is what it ended up with. This is the original concept for space. Now, I won't show you too much because it'll give away some things, but it reminded me of the original title of the book that I was going to name it, which I'm definitely going to go back to because I absolutely love it. I love it way more than space. It gives me a bit more of an idea of where the book's going now and where it's going to end up. And ironically, it was meant to be a six-page story, which, looking now, I don't know if I ever could have achieved it. But it's all here. It's good to go. I've got some more concepts, things to work on, things to tick my brain off over. So what I'm going to do, luckily, this book has serrated pages. So I'm just going to pull it out, stick it above my desk so I can look at it every day when I'm working and remind myself of uh, what the original goal was and try and stick true to that more often. So I'm pretty stoked that I uh, finally went through this. It took me a while because I got quite a few sketchbooks. I couldn't remember which one it was in. So, no, I'm, I'm really glad I found it. And, yeah, so I, I, hopefully the story will progress a little bit quicker now. I'm still only um, done the... Uh, I think it was six or eight pages of layouts from what I showed you yesterday. Last night, uh, I did do a bit of work. I was a bit sort of story logged, I think, to continue on the layout. So I ended up just doing more character design and playing around with that. So that's in another sketchbook, which is not inside this room. So I'll show you some more of those tomorrow, or I might not. I'm thinking there's a lot of concept stuff, uh, especially like this, you know, sort of the original designs and things that I haven't shown you guys yet. And because I want to do the behind the scenes book, I don't want to show it all off now. I think it'd be better saved to do a behind the scenes book, whether it's a PDF or a physical book. Uh, but there's a lot of it that I think I could make a secondary companion book rather than just having some behind the scenes stuff, you know, like the you know last two or three pages of the, uh, the comic book. And I think that's going to be more enticing and more exciting for me to put together as well because even though it's a one-off, this is a world I'd love to expand on a little bit more as well. And I, that's, that's my chance to do that. So hopefully if the Kickstarter goes well and people are interested in that, then I can definitely do that. But I think it's going to end up being a stretch goal rather than being a main, uh, a main pledge goal. Because if that's the case, I'm going to be printing two books rather than one. And that's going to be costly. So we'll see how that goes. Again, yeah. It's all up in the air until these layouts get finished and then I can really sort of nut out the prices and see what's going to be plausible. Uh, I've also been looking at Kickstarter um, advice as well. Um, I get reminder emails because I've got my campaign set up, which is why I did it, why I set it up, just to get the reminder emails and get tips and advice and things like that. And one of them was talking about uh, prices and how to price your Kickstarter and what to ask for. And I remember a couple of episodes ago how I said, I'd originally like to not only fund the book, but I'd also like to make a bit of money for me. Uh, I've definitely changed my mind on that now. After watching the first video, like uh, some videos from Kickstarter at least, um, at least for this first Kickstarter, I just want to focus solely on funding the book and getting it to you guys rather than concern myself with you know making money for myself. Although it would be nice, um, maybe if there's some extra copies printed, I can sell them at conventions uh, and make some money that way. 
that would be pretty cool. But otherwise, as far as the main Kickstarter itself goes, I'm going to keep any income for myself out of it. Just purely for the funding of the book and getting it to you guys and paying any Kickstarter fees and that. So, yeah. Just thought I'd update you all on that as well. So, everything's coming along nicely. I've got some more inks and stuff to do on another comic tonight. But I will try and do some more concept stuff or maybe some layouts or even just maybe timeline the book, I think. I think I might actually sit down and write out a timeline of how I want the pages to go. Um, looking back at it now, I'm really doing this sort of in a wishy-washy way. But in the end, it's all going to work out anyway. So it's all a fun process. It's all enjoyable. It's all comics. So I'm having fun. And I hope you guys are having fun watching the videos too. All right. I'll uh, get back to it. I hope you're all having a, a great day. And I'll catch you tomorrow for day six. Bye.